Hello, everybody, and welcome to an all-new game of Display Trivia live from New York City. I am your host, Sarah Priebus, and today we are celebrating the weekend's biggest event, the Billboard Awards. And now I will read the nominations for Best Billboards. This was a particularly competitive category, starting with Buses for Babies on State Road I-75. Greg and Greg Attorneys, near the abandoned mini mall in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Captain Ricky's Seafood Extravaganza of Roswell, New Mexico. And finally, the rug store that's been having a closing sale for five years, but will never close. And the winner is Wait, what? It's for, for music? Wait, there's no award for, for billboards? Well, I wish someone had told me that before I made all these trophies. Friends, we can promise the Billboard Music Awards this weekend will feature plenty of music, but there's no telling what could come up in today's questions. So, here are the rules. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just be like Miley, who can't stop, won't stop. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have a completed profile. Anybody ready for a quick rehearsal? Yeah? You feel good? Would you rather, for no points, Pump up the jam, pump it, or pumped up kicks? Pump up the jam, pump it, pumped up kicks. I mean, a song poll to get you in the mood for music trivia? How appropriate. Oh, we are good here. We are really, really good. 42% of you said pump, pump it up. Pump up the jam. All right, in that case, no more vamping. It's time for display trivia. Except, shall we do a few shout outs before we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Who's ready for this game? Out Black is, Mitch Dew is, Zermateo is, who else? AM Steel is, yes, let's turn Friday the 13th into a lucky day with a win. I love that. Alex Abai is, Dorian B is ready, who also, by the way, voted for the Rugs Billboard as best winner, best billboard. I love it. Mama Sita's ready. Okay, okay, let's do it. Here we go. Question one. The Billboard Music Awards honor achievements in farming, crossword puzzles, music. We said this, you know it. But you know, Billboard actually started out as a magazine highlighting trends in advertising, which really goes to show you that you can start in one place and end up anywhere especially if you were holding your map upside down. The Billboard Music Awards honor popular music innovators and 98% of you already tuned in. Question two. What happens in Vegas stays where? By the road, in Vegas, at home. What happens in Vegas stays where? Well, the awards are in Las Vegas this year, so if this expression is true, it means Whoever ends up winning has to stay in Vegas if they want to hold on to that award. Look, I don't make the rules. But I always go to Vegas when I need to verbally assault a family member because that stuff can't follow you home. And let's see if 97% of you can follow up this one with another right answer. Question three. The Billboard Weekly Hot List charts how many songs at a time? 1,150. How many songs at a time, friends? I mean, Forbes has their 30 under 30. The Bible has seven deadly sins. And Justin Timberlake and Madonna have only got four seconds to save the world. But Billboard, they round out their weekly list of 100 of the country's most popular songs. Currently number one is Harry Styles, As It Was. But as far as it's going, 
91% of you, much like former One Direction star, are golden. Question four. The 2022 artist with the most nominations is Doja Cat, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd. The most nominations. I know we're asking who of these has the most nominations, but guys, awards, they're not a contest, okay? No. The only real competition is, did I hold the yoga pose longer than the girl next to me in class? Come on, Lindsay, drop that tree. We know who the real winner in yoga is, okay? Yeah, unlike yoga, there are no winners in music. But when it comes down to it, The Weeknd has the most nominations in 2022 with 17. And Doja's in a close second with 14. Ooh, such savagery here. Ooh, only 20% of you got that, but you are getting closer to a win. Question five. The 2022 group with the most nominations is from which country? The US, South Korea, Canada. The group with the most nominations. This question's for groups only, okay? That's right, you gotta have a team to compete. Just like a three-legged race or your full party to be seated. You know, some things are just better with a team. And South Korean K-pop group BTS, they know this. Now the group will not be attending because they're focusing on their upcoming album, Proof, which music insiders are saying uh, will be in the pudding. 70% of you might not have BTS's six noms, but you are getting closer to winning trivia. And honestly, I think that counts more. Question six. 2022 Billboard Music Awards host is known for which song? Bad Boy for Life, One Wish, Still Dre. From one host to another, I tip my cap to this person. Well, I mean, I would tip my cap, but I left my cap at home with my monocle and my cork cob pipe. But you know, I tip it all the same. Shoot, I am gonna be so unprepared for that gender bent Sherlock Holmes audition later. Okay, but that, this show must go on, babies. It must go on. The host and EP on this year's awards is Sean P. Diddy Combs. He's a bad boy for life and 62% of you are on a roll. Question seven. Jack Harlow's current number three song samples this artist, Will I Am, the Black Eyed Peas, Fergie. <laughs> number three, oh my God, geez. You know what I always say, if you're not number one, you're last. Which is why I want to take this time to give you a little taste of my new hit single. Hit it! How you guys feeling tonight? You ready for a dance number? Seriously? Are you kidding me? You guys never let me sing on this show. Never. And you're going to regret that when my song is the, the hit single of the summer, the hit song of the summer, or like you know, wins an award next year at the Billboard Music Awards. Anyway, Jack Harlow's number three song samples a song by Fergie. And 85% of you are looking glamorous and heading into question eight. Which of the following has never won the BBMA Icon Award? Pink, Britney Spears, Cher. The Icon Award. I mean, my favorite icon? Probably the little apple on the top left corner of a MacBook screen. But you know, she's, she's just not musical enough to win this. I guess Cher and Pink are a good close second. Britney Spears has yet to be awarded this title at the BBMAs, but you know, if she keeps turning out those social media posts, it'll be hers in no time. We love you, Britney. We love you. 83% of you got it. Question nine. The first artist to have a number one on the Hot 100 was Bobby Darin, Ricky Nelson, Little Richard. The first artist ever. I mean, to know this, you need to know when the first ever Billboard Hot 100 was released. Now, of course, because of global warming, when it first came out over 60 years ago, it was just the Billboard Warm 100. But that's just progress, I guess. 
The first song to ever top the charts was Ricky Nelson's Poor Little Fool in August of 1958, and since then, it's been a mad dash to the top. 57% of you know the feeling. Oof, and you are getting so close. You're getting so close. Let's get into the final question. Question 10. Billboard magazine was first published in what city? Cincinnati, Detroit, New York City. Which city? Oof. Does anybody know this deep cut? I mean, don't let this question throw you off from your win. The only thing that should do that is when you go to see your favorite band live in concert and they only play the new stuff that nobody knows. Stick to the hits, folks. Stick to the hits. Fun fact, I yelled that at Bono once. Um, it was just in line at CVS, so it didn't really go over that well. Um, but when Billboard was first published in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1894, it took some years to gain in popularity. But it did eventually become a hit. 70% of you swung and you made a hit on this last one. Was it enough for a win? Who are the winners of our first Billboard Music Awards themed trivia game? Oh, -hoo -hoo! that is a big prize today, friends. 32 winners. Do the math, Chaz. How, many, how much money is that? It is $15.63. $15.63. If you came, slayed, displayed your knowledge, you are getting paid over $15. I love it. Shout out those scores, friends. Amy Princess got a 6 out of 10. Rajneesh got an 8 out of 10. Wise King Dooman. Oh, I missed your score. Hold on, I got you. Ah, 5 out of 10. Who won? Shetwa, you won? Woo, uh, bravo. Mamacita, you won. Congratulations, that's incredible. Who else? Sockman got an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Scapper 7, you want to hear me sing? Write a note to the producer. Who else? Vinicius S1, 5 out of 10. Cal Pode got a 6 out of 10. Senorita, 7 out of 10. Oh, Mr. 9821, so, so, so close. They want it. They want it. Oh my God, I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. Well, friends, congratulations. In honor of all of you, I wrote a song. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to hear it? Hit it, friends! Oh, God, I love this intro. You asked for it, and here we go. I hope you're ready for a dance number. Hey, everybody. It's Sarah Priebus reminding you to join me every single weekday at 12 p.m.